Okay guys, how you doing? So this is EMK Playboy 6 giving a short and quick video review on the Halo um, Halo e-cigarettes. Uh, very high quality e-cigarettes. Um, their hardware is very good. Their e-juices are really good. If you're like me and you're the type of person who looks for uh, e-juice who tastes like what they say they're going to taste like. If you you know if you order e-juice, they say they're going to taste like apple. Well, you don't want a hint of apple or a watered down version of apple. You want a true apple taste to it or whatever flavor it is. Uh, Halo makes that type of um, e-juice flavor. Um, I ordered the Triton. I also have the G6. As you can see, skinnier smaller as well. Now this battery mind you is a 900 volt or actually a 900 ma milliamp. Uh, this is also the variable. So I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. I disabled the focus. See that red line? So with this you could switch the variable voltage uh, of how your battery hit. So, obviously, that was at 3.3. I think that's the standard for the regular batteries. Goes up to 3.8, 4.3. Also goes up to 4.8. So you have 4.8 as the highest. And it, it, it's a very uh, easy slide. Very high quality e-cigarette, high quality battery. So. Um, I've seen a lot of other reviews who say that these uh, cigarettes are not that good or just, I don't know, they, they ran into issues. And don't get me wrong, you know, by no means I'm not saying that they're not right. You know, I, I first ordered my first Triton tank and it didn't work. So there were some issues and the issue was because unfortunately Halo and they're working on it, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to discredit Halo. Doesn't send instructions, especially if you don't if you order all the pieces individually. Now here's the thing. When you first take your uh, your coil, this is a coil, right? With the wicks. It has a quad wick, meaning four. When you first put it in there, you screw it in there, well actually, it comes pre-assembled. But you're gonna have to unscrew it, fill your juice, rescrew it. The thing is, is that when you screw these wicks in there, okay, when you put it back in there, mind you, put it in there, get it on, and finger tight. Do not over twist, over tighten. If you do that, this is what you're gonna run into. You're gonna have a loosened part now this little part in here is what this coil goes on into see what I'm saying this goes on to that this part though is normally in here and it has a wire that wire connects from that top part to this bottom part that bottom part screws on to here when you push the button, that button gives energy, submits the heat to that bottom part, transfers to here, heats up the coil, heats up your wicks, your juices are wet with the wick, or, or uh, your wick is wet with the juices, sorry, I've been drinking. <laughs> um, that's what heats up, gives you the vapor element, and you get the vape smoke, okay? With this one, it was a bad one. It was over tightened, the wire came out, and therefore you got this part. This should never, ever come out. You should never see this part at all. So, FYI, and a note from experience do not over tighten your. Uh, and you would think that's common sense, but some people, they don't know, especially people who are new to all this. They don't know, they're ignorant. It's not their fault. There should be instructions provided. 
same thing when you're putting it onto your battery okay take your battery simply make sure it doesn't strip make sure it's fitted okay it's stopped there same thing with your tip put it on okay do not over tighten anything and as you can see when I unscrew this off the uh, the coil will start to unscrew as well so I'm sorry hold on I should have held it from right there the coil will start to kind of come undone as well so what you do is you kind of you know just about right there okay so it stopped and then you take this just easily screw back on like that all right hand tight or finger tight you don't want to crank it just when it stops it stops okay now to turn on this battery click it five times blinks when it's on five times blinks when it's on it's a battery saver okay guys they don't put that in the instructions but this is just an FYI hold down the button take your hit mad vapes two different ways you can take the hit you do a mouth hit meaning suck the vapor into your mouth then inhale you could do a straight throat hit meaning just breathe it in and then let it out very good um, if you're first starting off don't order a high nicotine level when you're first starting off start off with a low or medium maybe I would say low uh, if you don't like nicotine you can order non-nicotine levels from Halo it's just flavor it's early we don't know what the hazards are as far as health wise goes with all this yet because e-cigarettes you know they're still fairly new and we don't know I ordered um, an e-juice from another company madvapes.com but you know they're a very good company you know but anyways I ordered a uh, spearmint six milligrams very low nicotine because your body absorbs a lot of nicotine when you smoke it this through this method probably more so than a, a real cigarette so you have to watch that um, in this little card they sent me there's something on the back gives you some word of advice the word of advice is this now electronic cigarettes may contain nicotine yes um, they're highly addictive it also says they're highly, well, it says they're not highly, but it says they're dangerous, dangerous poison. There's small traces of nicotine that can be found in potatoes and foods and natural things. Uh, nicotine, in a sense, is caffeine, is a, um, I don't want to say a natural stimulant, but it's kind of like caffeine in a sense. But this is more so to your heart, your breathing, and all that. Now, uh, it says, gives you a warning, warns people that have severe he health issues, and also, uh, it also warns about, this is one thing I, I really want to kind of stress, you know, there is a possibility you can overdose on nicotine, okay, just like anything else. If you were to drink like 20 monster energy drinks or 20 cups of coffee you would probably get fucked up you would you would feel some sort of effect of it so anything just like this time yourself if you go out and you smoke a real cigarette you take about what two three minutes five minutes depending on how fast how slow you smoke it time yourself the same way, same way you would do an e-cigarette okay so don't sit there and puff all day and think like oh i'm good you know um there's a lot of other things that it talks about. Oh yeah, if you ever give the get the e-juice on your lips or your mouth or your tongue or whatever, you know, rinse it off, wipe it off right away. You don't want to absorb that directly. It's not good, okay? So just water, whatever, just get it off, get it out of your mouth, whatever it is happens. Because um, it says don't ingest it. Don't ingest it or allow it to soak into your skin. And it's for a reason, okay? Uh, keep out the reach of your children and away from pets, obviously. And uh, 
of course it says right here buyer of this product accepts all risk but speaking from being a uh, I used to smoke real cigarettes and going from real cigarettes to this has been a lot better experience I can breathe better I can smell better I can taste I don't smell like an ashtray uh, a lot of better things so if you're trying to break away from cigarettes um, this is a very good way to do so um, the G6 is good if you're starting out the Triton is better if you want to step it up some and the reason why I say that is because this offers very good vape very good flavor very good product I'm not dissing on this and mind you this is with a mini tank so normally you get like a cardamizer and the cardamizer normally is like about this size and normally it's not even clear I ordered the mini tank because I can see what I'm putting in I can see the levels and um, just works out better you know what I'm saying you have more control anywho the Triton offers more of a wider range especially the variable battery wider range of control of how much vapor vapor that you get um, and it gives you more flavor and, and a little bit more warmth to the hit when you take it so if that's what you're looking for go with this um, if you vape a lot you smoke a lot or what, what have you this battery is gonna last a lot longer too this battery lasts a pretty good while too but and this is an automatic mind you so when I take a hit from this I have to hold no button the good thing about these batteries the uh, G6 you can order it in one or the other you can order it in a uh, manual or automatic now mind you when you smoke a real cigarette there is no button to push obviously right so you just take your hit good thing about their batteries they have a technology in there that basically if you take too long of a hit it'll blink and it'll stop that's to avoid burning out the battery and also to avoid getting a burnt taste flavor now with the Triton batteries there's not so much that they have it but I don't know it is different you hold you hold the button you take your hit and if you hold it too long you might get a burnt taste but with these batteries they deliver such a good solid full warmth flavor when you first take the hit you're gonna be happy with it you don't have to sit there and be hitting forever like oh, okay I'm kinda tasting it now no with this you take a hit you get your flavor get your vape and then you blow it out that's it good to go right now I'm smoking on um, Tribeca uh, Halo they they'll send you a lot of uh, you can order variety packs they send you a tin can like this if you order the starter kit they'll send you a little box very high quality stuff that they send you um, at all these different flavors I had a buddy who uh, sent me these flavors actually and uh, Tribeca is probably one of the best flavors that I like if you like a standard uh, tobacco flavor with a little bit of uh, caramel um, vanilla flavor to it very good to smoke so good e-cigarette if you get hardcore into it you can buy mods you can buy e-cigarettes that have like they look like lightsabers really like the handle of a lightsaber offer mad way more um, voltages in the battery but it's a very very big battery I mean I'm talking about like this much bigger it's like holding a a lightsaber handle it looks like it for me I wasn't into all that this was enough and all my friends that I have um, introduced Halo e-cigarettes too love it they have tried it I've let them taste the flavor they love it they love the performance of the the, the batteries and they love the taste of the flavors that Halo offers now Halo needs to expand they need to expand their variety they have a good amount but let's say you smoked them all like me I like spearmint 
Well, Halo doesn't really offer spearmint. They have flavors that taste like a spearmint, but they don't have a straight spearmint. Also, they don't have a straight vanilla. They don't have a straight a lot of things. It's like mixtures, and and they're really good. Don't get me wrong, but you know they need they need to expand their uh, variety of uh, or their choices of uh, flavors. Another thing too. Now these are two different type of e-cigarettes. You have the G6, the Triton. Don't get them confused. And you know what? Let me take these off. You have two different type of USB chargers. You have the G6. You have the Triton. Now, they look like they're threaded the same, but they're not. They're not threaded the same. They're different. The good thing is this, though. When I first had trouble with my first Triton tank, I, I talked to their uh, customer support. They sent me out a new one. No issues. Um, they said, meanwhile, we see that you have a G6. Cool. You can take the mini tank or standard G6 cartomizer. Oops off of your G6 and the good thing about these batteries is that they're double threaded they have this thread for the standard Triton they have the smaller thread for your G6 tanks honestly same amount of vape in a sense and it's weird like they sell a cone you can buy to cover this part so you just see the tip. I don't know, like, I like the G6 um, cartomizers. It's a smaller fit. I think you get more of a direct taste and flavor versus this. It's fatter, so you have more airflow. So you get a good hit, but sometimes the flavor might not be as much. I would say, honestly, just experiment. Purchase them all, buy it, see what you like, and then stick with it once you figure out what you like. But the good thing is, is that they told me, your Triton tank might not be working, or let's say you ran out or it burned out eventually, because they will they will eventually burn out. You could still use your G6 uh, tank to continue to vapor. And uh, another thing, good thing too is is that unlike the G6 tanks, with these you can actually swap out the the coils. So let's say this coil burned out, and just no matter what, it tastes burnt, tastes nasty. Take that coil out, throw it away, put a new one. They sell these blister packs, high quality, all sealed. So when you open it, it's air sealed. They're very big on that. Halo is a very good company as far as sanitary, high quality, high products that they sell. They're, it's a all U.S. Um, all U.S. company in the United States. All their products are made in the U.S. I'm not saying that anywhere else is n not better or worse, but their stuff's really good. Okay, so when you try it for the first time, you'll experience it. Maybe you won't. I don't know. It's your opinion. But if you want a good e-cigarette, high quality e-cigarette, go to HaloE6.com. I think that's it. Let me see. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's halosigs.com. I'll put the uh, the link in the description. Order yourself a Halo cigarette and some flavors. If you go to the flavors, you you know, the thing is, you can choose from a starter pack or you can hand pick. If you hand pick an item, listen to me. If you choose to hand pick your stuff, pick your battery, pick your tank get the right charger okay don't buy a g6 charger for a triton battery buy a triton charger for a triton battery and so on pick your flavors they have starter they have variety packs that come just like this bunch of different flavors you can choose from six milligrams to 24 milligrams of nicotine which is an extra high i don't recommend doing that unless like i don't know um you're a heavy smoker if you don't want any nicotine, you could choose just flavor. Zero milligrams of nicotine, just flavor. But order this, order this, order your flavor, order the correct charger. I'm literally using the charger from my phone, and it works. Okay. Um, you can order a uh, a Halo charger 
and it's cool. It looks very cool. It has, says Halo on it, you know, okay, cool. But a charger is a charger. Fastest way to charge your, your battery, and usually they always come pre-charged, so you can actually test it out real quick if you want to, but to fully charge it, fastest way, plug it into the wall. You can plug it into your USB port on your computer, laptop, whatever. Fastest way, though, to charge it, plug it into the wall. Once you do that, um, you're going to be on your way to some very good, high-quality vaping. So, all right, that's my video review. I highly recommend Halo. If anyone has any questions, let me know. Uh, I always respond to my comments in my channel. Also, don't forget to click on the link to go to haloecigarettes.com. And also, uh, make sure to put my email in the referral. They have a little referral system. Put my email in there, and uh, that'll help me out some. But if you have any questions, let me know. All right, peace.